Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you like our content, please press like button, it really help us. And if you need video on some specific topic, please let us know in comment box. My today's video is on resistor temperature detector. In this video, you will learn what is lead wire resistance in RTD? Secondly, you will learn why 3 wire RTD is more accurate than 2 wire RTD. In addition to this, you will also learn why 4 wire RTD is more accurate than the 2 wire and 3 wire RTD. And in last part of video, I'm going to explain how to connect RTD to temperature transmitter. So, Please watch this video till the end. So, let's learn, what is lead wire resistance in 2-wire RTD? As we know that, in practical application, RTD and temperature transmitter is mounted at different locations. So, we use 2-wire or 3-wire cables to connect RTD and temperature transmitter. These 2-wire or 3-wire cables has also its own resistance which gets added in the resistance of the RTD. These two wire or three wire cables resistance is known as lead wire resistance. These lead wires produce measurement error in temperature reading, which I am going to explain in next slide. As you can see from circuit diagram of two wire RTD, lead wire resistance gets added in the resistance of the RTD, and because of lead wire, the measurement error also increases. The measurement error increases with increase of distance between the temperature transmitter in the RTD position. In this circuit diagram, R1, R2, and R3 are Wheatstone bridge resistors. And our lead is the resistance of that particular lead wires. And RT is the resistance of RTD. As you can see, this is an equation of Wheatstone bridge when it is in balanced condition. In this equation, Rx is the sum of RT and two lead wire resistance. So, it can be clearly seen from above equation that, the lead resistance introduce error in measurement. Let's understand this thing by taking two examples. As you can see in this example, we have taken RTD PT100. And the temperature coefficient of this RTD is 0.00385. Now let's assume that, we are measuring the resistance directly at the terminals of 2-wire RTD. In other words, we are measuring the resistance without any lead wires. After this, put the RTD in temperature bath, and set temperature of temperature bath to 200 degrees Celsius. And measure the resistance of RTD at its terminals. You should get 175.85 ohm resistance, which is correct measurement. In other words, the measured resistance of RTD shows the correct temperature readings. Let's take one more example to understand lead wire resistance in detail. In industry applications, we use a cable to connect the RTD to the temperature transmitter. This cable resistance is known as lead wire resistance, and it will add to the total resistance. For example, if we use two lead wires to connect RTD to temperature transmitter, and if each lead wire resistance is 1 ohm, and if we put all these values in this equation, then we will get 177.85 ohm resistance value. In this example, the temperature according to the total resistance value is 205.4 degrees centigrade, which is incorrect temperature. And if we calculate error, we will get 5.4 degrees Celsius error. In other words, the lead resistance introduced measurement error of 5.4 degrees centigrade. Dot. RTD is that, 3 wire RTD has extra lead wire. And this extra lead wire eliminates the effect of lead resistance in circuit, which is not possible in 2 wire RTD. Hence, this is a reason that, 3-wire RTD is most commonly used RTD in the industries. 
Now, let's understand in detail that, why 3-wire RTD is more accurate than 2-wire RTD. As you can see, this is Wheatstone bridge equation for 3-wire RTD. In this equation, numerator and denominator both have our lead, and because of this, right-hand side ratio does not get affected due to lead resistance. In other words, both lead resistors eliminates each other effects in circuit. However, both lead wires should have equal lengths to avoid lead resistance effect in the circuit. As you can see, this is an equation, when Wheatstone bridge is in balance condition. In this equation, lead resistance will be cancelled each other with help of a third lead wire. And this is a reason that, the temperature measurement does not get affected due to lead resistance. However, as I said earlier, great care need to be taken to choose equal lengths of lead wires. In other words, if you do not choose equal length lead wires, temperature measurement error will occur. Duh. Let's understand the operating principle of 4-wire RTD. 4-wire RTD measures the temperature based on the voltage signal instead of resistance. And this is reason that, 4-wire RTD is more accurate than 2-wire and 3-wire RTD. Let's understand this thing with the help of this diagram. As you can see from the picture that, 4-wire RTD is constant current source in series with the two lead wires. And the voltage drop is measured across the another two lead wires. Ohm's law states that voltage drop across resistor is directly proportional to current, and resistance value of that resistor. So, in this equation, current value will remain constant or very minimum because of constant current source. In other words, current value does not affect voltage drop across resistor. And the voltage will be generated based on the change in resistance, which depends on the measured temperature. In other words, RTD resistance will change with temperature change, and it will change voltage drop across two lead resistors. Hence, Temperature is measured based on voltage drop across two lead resistors. Now, let's learn, what are the pros and cons of 4-wire RTD? First of all, let's understand, what are the advantages of having 4-wire RTD? Firstly, 4-wire RTD reads more accurate than the 2-wire and 3-wire RTD. And it is commonly used in test laboratories, where exact temperature readings are required. Secondly, 4-wire RTD does not get affected by lead wire resistance. And this is a reason that, it gives high degree of accurate temperature measurement. There are a few drawbacks of having 4-wire RTD. First drawback is that, 4-wire RTD is more expensive than the 2-wire and 3-wire RTD. In addition to this, if you use 4-wire RTD for long period of time, it will produce small amount of measurement error because of self-heating. Picture of temperature transmitter, terminal number 1 and terminal number 2 are for power supply. In other words, loop power supply will be connected to terminal number 1 and terminal number 2. And terminal number 3, 4, 5, and 6 are used for RTD sensor input. As name suggest, two-wire transmitter has two cables. One cable is red, and other cable is white. To connect two-wire RTD to temperature transmitter, connect red cable to terminal number 5. And connect white cable to terminal number 4 of temperature transmitter. In this section, I am going to show, how to connect three-wire RTD to temperature transmitter. As name suggest, 3-wire RTD has 3 cables, 2 red cables, and 1 white cable. To connect 3-wire RTD to temperature transmitter, connect one of the red cable to terminal number 5, and another red cable to terminal number 6. After this, connect white cable to terminal number 4 of temperature transmitter. Once you are done with RTD connection, turn on loop power supply, and check the reading on display. In this section, I am going to show, 4-wire RTD connection with temperature transmitter. 
As name suggest, 4 wire RTD has 4 cables. 2 red cables. And 2 white cables. To connect 4 wire RTD with temperature transmitter, connect one of the red cable to terminal number 5, and another red cable to terminal number 6. After this, connect one of the white cable to terminal number 3, and another white cable to terminal number 4 of temperature transmitter. Once you are done with connection, turn on loop power supply, and check the reading on display of transmitter. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you think our content is informative for you, then please like and share this video with your friends. And if you have any questions about this video, then please ask your question in comment box. I will try to give best possible answer to your question.